Burgess O'Neill with a couple of slips in for the first delivery here. And he has a good look at that one first up. And finds a gap just wide of second slip. No chance for deep third that time in the first boundary of the afternoon. Gets the pull shot away and places it perfectly. Fine leg up inside the circle. And that's an easy boundary. You'd want to think that was the case, otherwise why would you rush him over if you have someone in there? Lofted this time and out. Flicked away. Oh, nearly a chance at short fine. Would have been some kind of effort. Gets past him for four. Right on the circle or you have to, that's clever. Made the adjustment and picks up another boundary. So Crone's got to adjust his line now. Deliberately lifted over the top. Cleverly played by Truloff is off to a whirlwind start here. In the air and caught. Edge has been found and racing away. Test for the man at deep third and he can't stop it. And he's picked up an injury too as well. Edge and held at first slip. So they're three. Edged and taken. What a good catch again by Matt Short. He's in ripping form. In Edged and dra dropped. Put down by Matt Short well. He's caught them so beautifully all summer. I'd see that coming. Nice shot by Pearson. Finding the gap on the offside. And as so often happens... Up that's an edge, and that will be taken. So O'Neill has three, Jimmy. Edged and gone on a hat trick now, O'Neill. He's got four for. Just wide of the off stump. The press switch will get off the mark. Speeding down towards the boundary, and it goes for four. Driven and gets it over Kelapotha in short cover there. Has it in the air and he gets enough on it. A six, a maximum. Flicked away fine. Sutherland chases and give up the chase. It's four. Tidy. That's a good looking shot. Not many have been able to time them that wide of off stump, but it's racing away from Keller Potter for four. There it is. Half century number 11 for Sam Hazlitt, and he's really stood up when the state have needed him. They were six for 56. Hazlitt has kept his wicket intact all the way through the innings, and big shot down the ground from Hazlitt targeting that straight boundary with no one out and he gets a boundary defense has got better short again from Xavier Crone and played a little bit straighter this time sound off the below that time big appeal for LBW and given so Crone comes back and gets Presswich wicket edged but there's no one at slip for the leggy so Hazlitt gets himself his fifth short from Crone. Whacked away hard by Hazlitt and gets a boundary. Steckity again advances, throws his head back in frustration here as the catch is taken comfortably by Dean. Inside the circle. Oh, takes on the spinner first up to Sinfield. There's some confidence there. And he'll pick up a boundary, will he? Shorter boundary on the leg side, and Hazlitt clears mid on. He'll pick up four, he's into the 90s. And gone. Stumped, the youngster on debut, Hazlitt. Hazlitt goes after it. Are they thinking about one? They're coming back for two, and they'll get there. Well played, Sammy Hazlitt. His second hundred in the Marsh Cup. They're not. Haven't the 90s been a hairy ride getting to triple figures? This time in the air and caught by Short.
So 100 and out for Sam Hazlitt. Ooh, and a nice start for Mark Steckity with the new rock for Queensland. Well, that is going to be five wides. That's full appeal, perhaps for LBW and for Court Behind, and eventually given out. So Matt... Beautifully played through the offside, pitched up from Steckity, and driven very handsomely by Matty Short for his... That's way too soon for him to be sitting with us, but that's a beautiful shot there from Marcus Harris. Continues his good form. A shake to play the finals. Edged, but through a vacant slip and gully area, and away for four from Matty Short. That one didn't swing, and it went straight into the middle of Matt Short's bat. And that's exactly how you want it. That one drifts onto the leg stump, and it's away for four. It beats the man. Edging, and through the slip cordon again. Pull shot beautifully hit by Short, and he clears the man at Deep Square, who was about 10 metres in off the boundary line. It is a long bound. Seen that with Todd Murphy in the test match. Short and cut away nicely by Marcus Harris. He gets his second four. Minute seven to change momentum. Edwards starts a new over. And he's dispatched. Selection of the Australian team. Yeah, 100%. And, and what they are looking at also, I'd imagine, is... That's another. Has the only wicket of the inning so far. Driven nicely by Matt Short through the infield. And it is going to go all the way. Short's eighth boundary. And that's his half century. Seventh half century in his one-day career. And this time he punches through the leg side. And the chase is on for James Baisley. He won't get there. Fingers, so it'll be a cross-seam delivery again. Short, ready and waiting. Clears mid on. What an innings he is producing here. He's played. Finds the gap this time. Just what he was looking for. The boundary. Beautiful. Glorious. Pierces the infield. There's no protection in the deep. Beats the man. Placement again on show from Matt Short. This is some exhibition. As Harris goes big and finds the gap. Now towards Cow Corner for a much needed four to break the shackles for the former Australian opener. And that's his 50 off 65 deliveries. 17. Doesn't get the timing that time, but he's done more than enough. Cleared the infield. The race is on. It's into the piping here at the end. Blake Edwards pillared away on over the leg side by Matt Short and way over the fence. Yep. Wasn't it? Best big bash chase ever. Yep. Harris steps away and sides it through the offside. Over the top of Cover's head and away to the... Driving beautifully through the offside. What a way to bring up your century. His first to Victoria in one day cricket. He does it off just 89 deliveries. And he may well be very delighted with that. Yeah, Matt Short, enjoy this moment. Played away by Matt Short into the outfield and away for a boundary. And that is a nine wicket victory for Victoria, a bonus point win to keep them alive in the Marsh Cup in season 2022 2023.